Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, November 17th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nicole Nalepa, and here are your top stories this morning. All adults in the U.S. could soon become eligible officially for a COVID-19 booster shot as early as Friday. The Food and Drug Administration is considering this decision on a federal level. Now, we know that many of you have already been able to get your booster shots regardless of your age, at least 18 and older. Some states have already approved the extra dose as well. Now, another potential tool could be this booster shot in the fight against COVID-19 as we're seeing the positivity rate go up. Also in the works? Pfizer's experimental antiviral pill called Paxlovid. The company has applied for emergency use authorization of that. And again, this comes at a crucial time right now and a critical time here in Connecticut. The holidays right around the corner. The latest numbers from the governor's office show that the positivity rate climbed to 4.3%. That's the highest it's been in almost two months. And now at 7.01, Litchfield is fighting to keep their yellow ribbons this morning. Now, elected leaders in the borough of Litchfield voted to remove them from the town green now that the war in Afghanistan has ended. The Board of Selectmen is separate from the borough's board. The borough's board actually uh, is in charge of the two miles of this historic section of Litchfield. But town residents last night were asking for their help in persuading the borough leaders to keep the ribbons up. Adding to the outcry is singer Tony Orlando, who is best known for his 1973 hit, Tie a Yellow Ribbon Around the Old Oak Tree. We'll have the latest on this on the Channel 3 app, and you can also hear what Tony Orlando had to say. Now let's head right over to weather to see how cold it is out there this morning. Melissa? Hi there, Nicole. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's definitely a chilly start. We have temperatures right now that are in the 20s and 30s, but we're on our way up into the 50s this afternoon. So let's take a live look here at Pinpoint Doppler. We are scanning clear, no issues with any precipitation out there, and check out these sunrise shots this morning. Does it get any better than that? This is a live look from Old Saybrook. Just fantastic this morning with clear skies and that sun coming over the horizon. Similar scene here in downtown Hartford. The temperature is 30. The winds are calm. That is good news. No need to worry about any wind chill values out there this morning, despite the cold temperatures. 30 currently in New Haven with the bright sunshine and uh, clear skies and winds as well are clear, are calm, I should say. 24 degrees in Litchfield right now, so it's certainly, again, a cold start out there. Bristol 26, Plainfield 26, West Haven at 34 right now, one of the warmer spots, but everybody will be warming up nicely this afternoon. And wait till you see the high temperatures for tomorrow afternoon. Right now it's 30 in Hartford, 26 in Meriden, 30 in New Haven, 26 in Willimantic, 28 in Putnam. And it's actually colder this morning compared to recent mornings uh, by about 8 to 10 degrees outside this morning. So if you're heading off to work and heading off to school, you'll need to bundle up. But by this afternoon, our temperatures moderate. We'll be up to about 46 uh, by 11 and then into the lower 50s this afternoon with sunshine mixing with clouds. And along the shoreline, 47 at 10 a.m. up to about 51 at 1.52 at three o'clock. Now tomorrow we're forecasting temperatures that will be in the 60s. So even milder than today, we could actually climb well into the 60s, which will be about uh, 15 degrees above our normal high for this time of the year. And then we have rain on the way, but not till well after dark tomorrow. So I would say after seven, eight o'clock tomorrow night, that's when we have some rain moving on in. And as some colder air filters in behind the cold front, we might even see a few snowflakes mixing in with the rain come early Friday morning. You'll see that here on Futurecast as we go on through the day today. We'll see, again, a good deal of sunshine mixing with clouds at times. Uh, partly cloudy skies overnight tonight and for the day tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine, warm southerly winds pumping up that uh, warmer weather. So as I mentioned, temperatures will be well into the 60s. And then here's midnight tomorrow. Some rain beginning to move on in and rain across the state. But notice it changes to a little bit of blue in some of the higher elevations. So there could be a few wet snow showers mixing in with the rain. But it ends pretty quickly Friday morning. And throughout the day on Friday, it will be breezy, it will be much cooler, and uh, we'll have a mix of sunshine and clouds. So your forecast highs for today will generally be in the low 50s, about 52 in Hartford, a little bit milder in New Haven, 54, 52 today in Danbury, and likely in the upper 40s to near 50 in some of the hill towns. And then overnight tonight, it won't be as cold. We're going to see those winds um, uh, keeping 
temperatures up a bit overnight tonight. So down into the 40s to start things out for tomorrow morning and then into the 60s for the afternoon time uh, mid to upper 60s. The rain moves in after 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. It ends early Friday morning. Windy and cooler to end the week. 47 degrees, 46 on Saturday. So certainly a chillier start to the weekend Sunday will increase the clouds. There could be a passing shower, but most of us stay dry 50 to 55. And then on Monday right now, we're looking at a pretty good amount of rainfall uh, 55 to 57. And then on Tuesday, even into Wednesday of next week, it will feel chillier. We're going to have windy conditions, highs in the upper 30s and low 40s, and we could actually have a few snowflakes from time to time on Tuesday and Wednesday. Nicole. All right. Thanks, Melissa. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. So keep that handy and oof, can't wait for the warm up tomorrow. But for now, we'll leave you with this beautiful shot. This is from our iCam in Old Saybrook. Have a great day, everyone. Remember, if you want to contribute to Connecticut Food Shares efforts, Turkey in the 30. Scott is at the Stop and Shop in Simsbury. And you can also head to our website in the Channel 3 app for more information on how you can help. Be healthy. Stay positive. See you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Watch us live wherever you are, on our mobile, on our streaming news app. And you can also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV.